All right, guys. Today I figured I'd show you uh, how these butt welding clamps work. I've had a bunch of people on Instagram ask about them, and every time it's the uh, same explanation and all that. So I figured I'd just make a quick little video here showing how they work. So uh, I had an old, this is an old panel of 55, which I didn't end up using. And this is actually the roof skin off the two door, which I just kind of rough cut and ground down. And uh, I'll show you how it kind of works there. So I'll get you set up on the tripod, hopefully sound and all that works okay in the case. And uh, we'll get going on it. All right, so these things are pretty simple. That's what they look like when they're together. When they're all apart, there's just a few pieces to them. Uh, the block, the little piece that's going to slip between the steel, and then the, the box on the other side where everything kind of goes through. So it's pretty simple. All you want to do is, that one took it right apart, but you just kind of loosen it, and that'll take the pressure off. So you can slide the little block out. All we're going to end up doing is basically sliding this in between the two pieces of metal, and then this will be on the back side. So you got to pretend the metal is right there. And as you tighten it up, it's just going to clamp them together. So it, it's a pretty simple little setup there. I'll, uh, I'll just use it on these two pieces of metal and show you how it works. All right, so in this situation, we'll just pretend that's the car and this is the panel, because that's how it would be in real life. I have it just set on a, a couple of sockets just to hold it off the table. So you want to make sure you can get to the back side. So on the, on the front side, you just loosen up this little thing so it's sticking out. I'm going to put them between the two. It's kind of a little bit of a trick here to get the little block lined up, but I can kind of cheat because the, the panels aren't actually together. Just kind of push them together. Tighten it up a little bit. Now just kind of hold it. Let's do this other side real quick. together, tighten up the clamp, and there you go. And then obviously, I mean, if you're really going crazy, you put a third one in here, to be able to do this. And there you go, so the, the panel's all kind of held together. It ends up holding basically the shape you want. And, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so now I got these together, I'll just kind of show you. So I didn't do a very perfect cut, so there's a little bit of a big gap in some spot, but you can see right there where it's real tight, it'll be real easy to weld on that. Now, flip this up. It's essentially one piece that's holding itself together. On the back side, you can see what I mean by it. So these little things just act like a little brace to hold it together. It's pretty simple. Okay, so I got it all set up. I just uh, turned the welder on real quick. And I'll just kind of show you how this works. So I just put a few tack welds on either side of, of the end clamps. This one had a bit of a gap, so I had to kind of string it across. So this one, because it's so tight, this clamp's going to be actually a pain to take off or get out because it's going to be real tight, so I'll probably just show you on this one. I'm doing it one-handed. So just loosen it up. You kind of right around back, you push your block out. So it's out. This will cut right out. And there you go, the panel's held where it should be. So, I mean, what I would do is you kind of, you put a bunch of these across, you weld, you know, in between a bunch of uh, spot welds to hold it all together. Then you just simply pull those out, and then you can go back in and, and fill those gaps in. But well, this worked out great. I did this on the on most of the 55, and, uh, and that's it. These ones here, they actually came from Harbor Freight. I think we're up, up in Canada, we don't have Harbor Freight, but my old man made a trip down to the States, and I ended up uh, borrowing them from him. And he's never getting them back. So I think these were super cheap, 10 bucks for an 8-pack or something like that. So I suggest getting them. If you're doing anything like this for panels and stuff, it works out, uh, works out pretty good. But yeah, hopefully you guys learned something there, and uh, if you don't mind going on there, hitting the subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.